Have you ever wondered what Scientology and Memorial Day have in common? This question is easy to answer. Absolutely nothing. Scientology does not celebrate this holiday. They do not honor the freedom they have fought for. Individual freedom is not important to a Scientologist. On the contrary, the structure of Scientology resembles the totalitarian state of North Korea, especially for Sea Org members. Only one question remains to be answered. Why does Scientology hold events on Memorial Day? But first, let's take a look at what restrictions Scientology has in place for protesters on this holiday. Because we have seen one thing very often. The restrictions do not apply to everyone, only to the protesters with their dangerous cameras. This will be fun. I'm excited about the action. Let's get started, DOA. What's up, guys? Is this event open to the public? No. Is it a private event? I believe so. You believe so or you know so? I know so, and this is uh, actually a restricted area. Oh, so why are they allowed on here? If you continue walking, you're fine, but you can't full stop. I can't full stop? No. Okay, so this, can I see that permit, please? I didn't see any permit anywhere. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I'd like to see that. I'm trying not to full stop. Can I full stop, sir? Am I allowed to full stop? Yeah, so I can show you. Okay, perfect. I didn't right want to get here. Okay, so full closure there. Sidewalks on this side, it's closed. Okay. That's the city permit. That's the city permit. And right. this easement is closed also? Yes, sir. But that's the sidewalk. I'm just asking, I want to be right with the law. I, I'm a, a rule follower and the curb, am I allowed to be on the curb? They want you on the other side. Who wants me on the other side? Per the permit. Per the permit? Right. So, but this is a private, nobody could come here. They have to have a uh, special invite to be here? Yep, yeah. so they're, but they're allowed to, per, you know, you guys, what we need to change that needs to be posted up at the sidewalk for the public to be able to see it. It's supposed to be up for the public to see. Oh no, Scientology doesn't want the public to see that they are blocking the streets and sidewalks. That's why they don't put up the permits. What would the neighborhood think? That's not an option. When I, I, yeah, and I've suggested about 10 different times. It's, it's, it's going nowhere, but you guys are new, so I figured I, I would suggest it to you too. Like when I work on houses, we get a permit, we put it in the front so the, the public knows about it just so that there's no confusion. Most events and stuff, there's usually a permit posted for everyone to see so the neighborhood knows that, hey, we can't ingress or egress into the sidewalk. But what I'm hearing from you is that I, as long as I keep moving, I'm okay, correct? Okay, beautiful. And is there a sound? Am I allowed to yell? My first exercise, my first amendment? Or is this considered a religious service right now? Okay, so my specific question then here then at that is, at what decibel level am I breaking the law? So that's what that's where the courts come in. If they wanted to do a private person's arrest, it, then it goes to the court's hands. Okay. Then, then the court would decide if your so, was so, loud enough. So like right now, what you're saying right now is I could be arrested by say Scientology is a cult. That could be this. It, that can be because. No, I mean, I, I, I talk loud, right? I, myself, already I have a high decibel level, probably around 50 decibels, maybe 45 decibels at normal talk. Like this, this is about my talking level. So I can't express my, my beliefs towards that group. Like I want to know at what point am I breaking the law? You can't possibly believe that you could just pull it out of your, you pull it out of thin air uh, at what volume like I want to protest I want to protest this group right now right okay, I'm not allowed to yeah but you're the ones who are going to enforce the PPA right now correct I'm going to honor his their choice to make the PPA okay so I want to know at what level I'm allowed to protest at because you're really because right now they could they could say that right now like I'm 
that this right here is disturbing a religious thing when there's a music being played. I don't know how many religious services are plays, you know, and I've been arrested twice already for this specific uh, statute. Uh -huh. So that's why I want to clarify. I want to follow. I want to be a law abiding citizen. OK, uh -huh. but it's very hard when it's up to them to decide when I go to jail. Would you not agree? But you're not going to jail right now. They're not. Yeah, but I'm tr I'm making sure I'm not because I'm about to I'm about to start my exercising of. Okay. Yeah. But remember, just keep walking. As long as you keep walking, you're fine. So I could I could be at any decibel level. When you start disturbing them and they call us, that's probably when we'll start. Well, like they're disturbing me with the awful music. Can we can we start a PPA right now? Just go home then. Okay, so they could go home too, right? Like I want to be able to exercise my First Amendment right, right? I understand that. I know it's funny, but I've You're already been. I, I've already been. Circles, you have to keep on walking. No, I've already been. I've already been in jail. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep walking right here, and I've already been to jail twice. So I'm just trying to make sure that I'm abiding the law. So, can I? Am I allowed to scream or say that they're trafficking children at all? Or if there's a if they decide that I'm gonna go to jail, I'm gonna go to jail. Correct. Or do I just have to be mobile like this? Well, but as long as I'm mobile, right? I'm trying to follow the law. Can can I go that way? Can I can I go that way? You're gonna walk back and forth. You have to go all the way down to the end and all the way back. Okay, and and at what decibel level am I breaking the law? Let's worry about the, the walking. All right, so you guys are the walking police. Okay. Oh uh, well, he told me I could stop. He told me I could stop and talk to you. You guys are done talking to me and explaining, correct? Yeah, you're going in circles. I know that's what it feels like. I'm going in circles. Okay. So I have to go all the way down, and then I gotta go all the way back down. What if I cross the street and then come back? Yeah, no. I mean, technically, we're letting you walk on this side of the street, but if it's gonna be a problem, this is the hard closure. We're we'll asking you to be on the other side. So that's a hard closure, and that's a hard closure. okay, okay. Scientology's a cult. Is that legal? Am I breaking the law right there, guys? Am I breaking the law? Scientology's a cult. Breaking the law? Scientology's a cult. Guys, am I breaking the law? You see how ridiculous this shit is? I'm not forcing this shit. You guys are. It's stupid. It's I'm trying to be a law-abiding citizen, and you're you're not making it easy to be a law-abiding citizen. But I'll get all the way here, I'll hit this checkpoint, and then we'll go this way because I want to ingress. I want to get back to my vehicle. Let me get over here. What up? How you doing, man? Doing good, doing good. What's up, Chad? How y'all doing, Babs? Folks? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I've been following. Nice, nice. Yeah. I've been. They were, they were on some bullshit over there. Oh, yeah? The sidewalk nice closure. Sidewalk. The sidewalk closure. They say you can walk or not walk. They're, they won't give any decibel level of how loud I could be. Only that if they say that I could go to jail, I go to jail. Oh, that's yeah, it. That's how they've been threatening. Like, just like, and they also say, well, you won't get out next time you go to jail. Yeah. It's crazy, but. Yeah. Um, you got court on the 31st, right? Yeah. When did it, when is your um, appearance? 31st. 30, really? Yeah. There's no way they scheduled it both on the same day. Yeah, I think they're going to. Uh, I'm just going to, I'm waiting until to see what happens with. Uh, um, if they're going to pursue. Yeah. And then I'll, I'll get a lawyer if they're going to pursue it. Oh, yeah. You yeah. know. They'll never do, but what they are doing is putting together, if we ever get proper legal help and we put together a civil suit, there's patterns and practices that are happening that are, we could show on numerous live streams through, oh, yeah. to no, numerous people. Yeah. So we, we gotta talk about that. I look forward to the day when Scientology and the LAPD have to pay for their crap. We don't know much now about what is and isn't allowed for the protesters. But we do know that the LAPD will execute the PPA for Scientology any time. LAPD officers are sworn to protect the Constitution, including the right to free speech. But even today, on Memorial Day, the protesters' right is being restricted because an organization is paying for it. I want to take you on a little excursion and take a closer look at this holiday.
Memorial Day is a day dedicated to remembering and honoring the brave men and women who died while serving in the United States Armed Forces. It's a time for us to reflect on the sacrifices made by these heroes to protect our freedom and way of life. The origins of Memorial Day date back to the years following the Civil War, a devastating conflict that claimed the lives of more than 620,000 Americans. After the war ended in 1865, communities began to hold springtime tributes to these fallen soldiers. They would decorate graves with flowers and recite prayers a practice that became known as Decoration Day. One of the first widespread observances of Decoration Day was on May 30, 1868, when General John A. Logan, leader of an organization for Northern Civil War veterans, called for a nationwide day of remembrance. He chose May 30th because it was not the anniversary of any particular battle, making it a neutral and respectful choice. On that first Decoration Day, General James Garfield made a speech at Arlington National Cemetery, and 5,000 participants decorated the graves of the 20,000 Union and Confederate soldiers buried there. Over time, Decoration Day evolved into Memorial Day, and the holiday began to honor all American military personnel who died in all wars, not just the Civil War. The name Memorial Day became more common after World War II, and in 1967, it was officially declared the holiday's name by federal law. In 1968, Congress passed the Uniform Monday Holiday Act, which moved Memorial Day from May 30 to the last Monday in May, creating a three-day weekend for federal employees. This change took effect in 1971 and helped ensure that the holiday provided a time for reflection and remembrance, as well as a long weekend for families to gather and enjoy the beginning of summer. Today, Memorial Day is observed in many ways. People visit cemeteries and memorials to honor those who have died in military service. Volunteers often place American flags on graves of military personnel in national cemeteries. Many cities and towns across the United States host Memorial Day parades, featuring military personnel and members of veterans' organizations. A significant tradition is the National Moment of Remembrance, established by Congress in 2000. At 3 hour p.m. local time on Memorial Day, Americans are encouraged to pause for a moment of silence to remember and honor those who have died in military service. This simple act helps unite the nation in respect and gratitude. Memorial Day is also a time for families to come together. Many people enjoy barbecues, picnics, and outdoor activities, celebrating the freedoms that the fallen soldiers fought to protect. It's a blend of somber remembrance and joyous celebration, reflecting the complex nature of our history and the sacrifices made for our freedom. Let's honor our heroes with gratitude and respect, not just this day, but every day. Isn't it remarkable that on this day, an organization that doesn't want freedom for its members can take a piece of it away from others? The LAPD won't move a finger to defend the protesters and their rights. That an organization can shut down the entire block almost every weekend, but only for the critics, not for everyone. This pisses me off because all of this is nonsense and in no way justifiable. Aja also had her fun with the LAPD and she saw a familiar face. Officer, can I have a word with you, please? Officer, um, so I, he says over there that the sidewalk is closed, right? Sidewalk is closed? Oh, I seen the sign yet. oh wait, this, I'm telling you, it says sidewalk is closed. But is this considered a sidewalk where I'm standing? Right here? Well, you're on the street. Well, technically, your car is on the street too. Look it. So I'm basically following the direction of your car. So, so, so what is the what is the issue with if we, if we walk? Oh, look at David Sanchez right there. David, uh, hi, David. His fellow people mm -hmm, were involved in an in assault uh, with one of the protesters over there, and the LAPD didn't do shit about it. You're fine, officer. Thank you for for talking to me. You're very cool. Fist pump me. There you go. Thank you, officer. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and and make my way over here because David Sanchez has not changed his behavior, his ways. He's still a criminal. He only came to Scientology because no one will take him. No one will accept him. So he chose Scientology because Scientology was the only one that accepted him. I think that's a really good argument. Nobody else would have taken him. And Scientology is desperate because they're shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. Still has the mind of a criminal. David Sanchez, you have not reformed yourself. That guy right there, David Sanchez, was the one that contributed to one of the protesters over there have their whole barbecue set up, knocked down, knocked down. That guy right there. This is the video to this incident. Hey, do me a favor and check if you are subscribed. Without subscription and without notification bell, you might miss the next video.
This sidewalk is completely closed. Okay, that sidewalk. But uh, so right now I'm standing right here, and is this a sidewalk as well? Since your car is parked here, your car is protecting me. But 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 who who makes these laws? Is this law? Another question. Freedom of the press, which is me. Where is my where is my protection on that? Uh, that's I know, but that's not the question I ask, officer. Respectfully, respectfully, that's not what I ask. F freedom of the press, free record, whatever I can see with my eyes. And if I can stand there or here, whatever, I can do it, right? Okay, so if we walk up and down, I just, I just want to be clear where we stand. I don't want you guys to make up or Scientology, make up bogus charges, and then you go along with it and arrest one of us. Okay. Oh, well, I just, you know, we, we have past experiences where Scientologists' feelings get hurt, call the police, and the police cater to Scientology and arrest one of the protesters with no without any questions, no knowledge. They just put handcuffs on the person and take them in without investigating anything. We have past experiences is the reason why I'm asking. Thank you, officers. In the meantime, Jay is on his specially converted van, which resembles a high stand for wildlife observation. He films the Scientologists in their natural environment from a height. We can observe how they are on the hunt for new members and use this holiday to attract families with children. With his high-end technology, he can virtually look them in the eye. The high green wall that Scientology has erected has no effect. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The Scientologists are all waiting in the wings to recruit new members. Matthew, Krad, Michelle, Kayla, Wills. I've missed y'all as well, guys. Vince, uh, Jen. Wow. Uh, and I mean, we're we're getting some really good face shots today, guys. Let me make sure I'm like my focus is dialed in. Eye in the sky stuff. You got the Mexican flag. It's wrong, wrong holiday, lady. My <laughs> uncle has some pictures that were questionable at some point. I caught some on my ring camera. <laughs> Soil, I'll be protesting on Fountain Avenue and Elvron Hubbard Way once this event's wrapped up. So that's where we'll be able to get our honk, our honks in. Took your shot. Whoa. Jennifer Krauskopf takes care of the permits for the various events. Is that even Jennifer? She looks young. Is that Daisy? That's Daisy? Yes, it's her, and she has flyers with her to hand out. How did I do that? Why do I have a deeper zoom right now? Why is this further than I could have gone before? That's what? What? This guy has been there alone all day, and he watches the kids and nobody notices. He stands there and watches them play in the water. Absolutely creepy. Osa says, spot me if you can. Thank you very much, Osa Security. Odo Hubbard. Hubber. I love you. I love you. And I watch you After a few laps around the big blue building, she is lined up to protest. She waves her flag and lets the cars honk their horns. 
Hold on a second. I'm trying to sign into my phone so I can put some music. I mean, uh, not music, but, you know, um, the wave sound because... Um... Yeah! Woo! More and more protesters gather in front of the big blue building. Becky has also made her way there, bringing homemade lemonade with her. It's always a surprise who turns up for the protester. Everyone does their own thing. Everything is informal and they have a lot of fun together. You just have to remember that these people didn't know each other beforehand. They are going on the streets because they have heard the traumatic stories of Lara, Serge, Miriam, Jenna, Reese, and many other second-generation Scientologists on YouTube. These stories unite the protesters, and it makes them stronger every time one of them is unjustly arrested. Um, um. Call your mom. Call your family. They love you. Oh, we got lemonade. What the world? Free lemonade. Thank you. Have a great one. How are you? I'm doing good. How about you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. How are you? How are you? Hi. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Got some limonada. Better her than me. Yes. But then her right here. Damn, they make me Afro African American. Dang it. <laughs> go with her. She's pretty though. Get a girl. That's me right there. She's pretty. The abuse. Is that, she's the prettiest one out of all. I'm just curious why you guys are personally. Well, I'm a harm reduction specialist. That's what I do. I come out and I support my community. I support the encampment. Because back in the days, people used to be scared of Scientology, and now we're here to say, like, fair game. Yeah. What about you? Yeah. I'm a sexual assault survivor, so there that's all go. I need to hear. That's mm -hmm. all I need to hear. All right. Excellent. So we're out here for well, the same reason. I appreciate your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. you. Have a great one. A photo. Andale, mijo. The, because it is, it is a hundred percent lemon. When they say this is a barrel of fun, they're not joking. And then if for, for those of you that kind of want, what I also do, hey, Fat Grammy, how are you? Hey, sister, hermanita. Um, what I do with these, if you're gonna wanna put something hot in there, um, I fill them up with hot water first and then leave them for maybe about 20 minutes before I add any um, any other liquid. <laughs> look at Laura. Oh my God, look at Laura. <laughs> Scientology? No, he isn't. He's a, um, he's part of the community surrounding Scientology. He lives around here. He lives somewhere. Look at him. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ah. <laughs> Laura is teaching him how to dance. Look, look, look. Oh, it's okay, bless you. Look at it, look at that, look at that. How the fuck can you be mad at this? How? I don't get it. <laughs> so, I'm your Tia Becky. I get, I, my son's friends call me Tia Becky. And Tia Becky. You know, my son is um, part of the LGBTQ plus LMLP community, so, um, he has quite a few friends that they're <laughs> telling me that shit ain't cute. And Sazika, if I scare you back and look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh my god, just look at that. How the fuck can you be mad at that? Ow. Look at that, look at that shit, look at that. Yeah. Look at that. 
just look at that happy. They think that they're doing something horrible with that music by playing it. And now look at that. I'm telling you, how, how can you be horrible with that? How can that be horrible? And it's Pride Month, you guys. It's Pride Month. 